Hello. Um, hey, so I just wanted to give a little update. Um, it's been a hard couple days um, because I basically felt like I lost this job and um, like just like really worried because even though I'm like very, you know, I have like, you know, spirituality is like a big part of my life at the same time. Um, it's really hard, you know, when, when like, it's just out of nowhere, you like lose your stability to kind of feel grounded in faith when I've had so much like pain and stuff happen to me where it feels like, you know, I've had like times of lack where like I had like $20 in my bank account and I was living in my mom's basement and, you know, now I, can't, I couldn't even like live in her house. So I just like get really scared because I have this like ingrained, like from my childhood that I like really want to get over it. I'm trying to like heal the trauma and everything, but it's like, you know, when I was a kid, my mom would always just, even though she made, she was a professor, but like, um, you know, we had like, we were like wealthy and then um, we like lost our money. It was like my dad's, from my dad's family, like his, being part of the family business and um, a lot of bad stuff went down, but basically my mom would always tell us like that we were going to be homeless maybe soon and like, we would have to eat ramen and she would just like say these things that really scared me and so I, I even though we had a nice house and that we rented but like we had a nice house in a nice neighborhood I was always very scared and I always just like and now still like I just I feel like my mind like jumps to the worst possible place and I just feel like I've like grown so much and healed so much and come so far that like it feels like I'm just like almost like scared like it's like I got too cocky or something as if like the universe like bitch slapped me <laughs> like I mean but I think it's actually um you know like meant to help me grow even though I really hope that means that I'm just going to be more prosperous as a result somehow because otherwise the like other option is too scary and too sad so I need to like you know think of like what I can like use this time for um because you know obviously I love doing this like making videos and I have a lot of topics that I want to cover so I want to put more time into that so okay like really quick so what happened was with my boss like he was he was supposed to talk to me on Monday but then he completely went like he I texted him called him he like didn't respond and I just started to realize like it's like seriously he's like having like a mental breakdown maybe because he's being sued by like another insurance company or like whatever but he's clearly like going off the deep end and I like, I texted my other supervisor and I was just like, um, you know, I have like this huge unpaid medical bill like that that's not covered by insurance, like as a result of that other week, you know, and it's not like all the stress from him helped any of like my health concerns. Like it honestly, you know, again, I think everything's meant to be, but like if we're talking like, it's just like a very weird thing to just like, you know, when you know your employee's like going through something, you just like, but anyway, I don't think his head is like in the right place because I messaged my supervisor just saying like, you know, that I was in a really, like, it was a really bad time for me to lose my job suddenly. And I said like, you know, after you left for vacation, he basically started to just like get really angry at me and he was acting like I was slacking off, even though that was like the opposite. Like that, that time, during that time, I was actually working overtime. I was doing two, like two or three jobs that like weren't mine. Like I was doing so much more work. I was like exhausted. And, and I, and then he would just be calling me screaming, like saying I wasn't doing something right. It was so weird. It was just so weird that clearly it's like, he has like issues, like very big mental health issues. But you know, because it's not, you know, he's from like Texas and he's like, you know, a guy and he's like, you know, sports, whatever his family is like, you know, whatever it's not considered like it's just so sad that men like don't feel like they need to address their mental health concerns and their like you know their issues and that the things they take out on people especially people who are like people who own businesses who are authority figures i find a lot of people in power who've been like bosses of mine for example i mean i also am not like good with authority figures but we you know we got along until he started to flip out for no reason like it was fine um but a lot of these people who have these like, you know, these positions of power, they're actually like super traumatized and like have so many deep issues and like they should not be like running, like they should not be ordering people around, but they're the ones with money for some reason. So 
I would love to get to a place where I don't have any bosses to defeat in my game of life because, you know, I'm just, I'm sick of being bossed around and especially by people who don't have their shit together. But, you know, like, we'll see what happens because, um, you know, one good thing is that my supervisor, um, she was saying to me, she texted me back and she said, I'm really sorry you're going through that. Like, I, you know, as you're like the boss guy, like, I don't know where his priorities are and it's really hard to talk to him right now. Yeah, he's going through some shit. And, um, like, I'm sorry, but like, he was so mean to me that like, I don't, you know, it's just, it's very clear that there's so many underlying issues with him, but whatever, like, I really doubt he's going to get help for that, so he's just going to keep living his fucked up little life. But anyway, she did say there's a project coming up and she's going to call me about it, so I don't know what that is yet, but she texted me today, so it's kind of cool, like, that means that, you know, I might get some, they probably, like, things have obviously changed, so I don't think it's going to be the same, like, um, job as it was before, and, you know, we'll see how many hours I even get, or if it's, like, even long term, but at least, at least something good might happen with that, at least I'll get some, you know, I'll continue to make some income for a while with that, we'll see what it is or how long, whatever, anyway, I'll get the details, but the good thing is that that's that, like, that, like, you know, regardless of what happened with him, like, freaking out for no reason, uh, there's still, like, having cut up ties with me and there's still, like, a chance to, you know, like, you know, financial opportunities um, with that company, so that's great, but again, we'll see, but just the fact that that is, like, a possibility makes me feel, like, not totally hopeless at this point, because, um, that just makes me feel good to know that, you know, something will be coming in, but it also, of course, made me realize that I need to, like, um, really readdress my priorities and my financial situation, because I am, you know, like with that job, it was like basically minimum wage. And I really, even though it's like scary because that was such a good thing for my lifestyle because it was just like at home and like it was like fit so well into my like schedule even though there were just some days when I just wish I could have like slept in. But because like, you know, it just, it just like the anxiety of like getting to sleep is like, but I, you know, I've been doing better with that and I hope I can like use this time to kind of work through that and find like, you know, build some better habits and restructure my, happens a little, um, so that's one thing. Also, just, yeah, I need to create more financial opportunities because, like, you know, that wedding is tomorrow, and I'm, like, devastated that I can't go when I just think of everything that that represents to me, like, being in a place of, like, people who love each other, with friends, like, meeting new people, uh, you know, being in a new place, in a beautiful location, being on a mountaintop, like being in a city I've never been to, being dressed up in a beautiful dress that I bought that I can't return. Anyway, um, being, you know, amongst like all these successful people and just like happy people and being like flourishing and being my element and people seeing me and, you know, having like delicious food and free food and all this delicious stuff and like beautiful music and just like seeing this mountain view. I mean, that to me is like, everything I want for myself, you know, <laughs> moving forward, and, um, and it's also just complicated because, you know, it would have been with my counterpart, who's also friends with them, but, like, I also just, I would call him my counterpart because as much as I do love him as a person, I just don't really like our relationship, it's like, I, I don't have that romantic relationship with him, and, you know, even back in the day when I kind of, like, was lying to myself like we never even really had the romantic thing it was more just like a kind of cosmic twin flame energy that like was meant to be because he really did help me grow into my own a lot and I you know I'm so grateful for like you know we are have like a great friend relationship but I don't like really like how he treats me as like a partner and I don't think it's right you know it doesn't feel right like like I feel like I need more from that kind of partner like a life partner like a romantic partner but I do love him and I do want him in my life like it would be great if we could just be friends and still like see each other all the time because like we don't even have a really like sexual chemistry or like romantic chemistry but we do have a great like we have a lot of the same interests and I definitely want him in my life but anyway it's complicated because you know those people know us both together and and like both of us going together is so expensive but I 
I really did want to go camping. I mean, a lot of like that whole like opportunity, I could have gone and I know it would have been fine, but I was waiting to hear back from my boss who of course never called and I knew like something like that would happen. Like I'd be waiting for nothing. Also, you know, when you have someone who's financially tied to you, who like is telling you, oh, well you can't go because it's going to be too expensive. Like even if you want to go camping, it's still going to cost. And like before I met him, I would just go places and I know it sounds like la di da, but like literally I, was not making a lot of money as like a publicist and stuff like I was making like 500 a week and still and and you know more later on when I have my own clients but I just like cat what is that sound what the fuck is that sound what the fuck it sounds like a cicada dying or something terrifying um, I feel like August is when all the weird bugs come out because I saw some. Ah! 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 Oh my god! What's that pie, Kitty? What the fuck is that kid? Ah! Yeah, I don't know. You're joking. Where is it? Kitty, what the fuck was that? Holy fucking shit, that was a fucking cicada. Oh my fucking. Have you ever heard anything so terrifying in a gym center? I mean, did you hear that fucking sound? <gasps> Holy shit. Kitty loves to play cicadas, but oh my fucking god. Telling you, all the weird bugs come out in August. I saw a weird gold beetle today. I saw a huge wasp. It was like the size of a cicada, but it was a fucking wasp, like a hornet. It was terrifying. Where did that bug go? That was the scariest sound I've ever heard. <laughs> Probably gonna pop out of nowhere soon and like, oh god, oh my god, never heard a cicada sound like that. Okay, that was interesting plot twist in the video. So anyway, the point is, um, yeah, so I need to, I just, I want to be, like that is my new goal, like I need to be around, like I need to be a part of a community, like I, I need to build a community for myself. I've done it alone long enough, I've healed the trauma, I've wrote, written the poems, done the art, I've expressed myself to the max, but now all I want is connection, you know? All I want is, you know, to be, to meet people like me, like, t to go to festivals again, and, like, be, like, I remember Spring Awakening Music Festival was one of the best experiences of my life. It was just, like, like, so life-changing and just healing and, like, discovering new music and meeting these people who were so kind and just, like, I want to be part of that again. And, Whatever that means for my, like, you know, I, I want to also, like, get on, like, an app, like, I heard Hinge is the new thing, like, I want to meet more people that way, like, guys, you know, even though it's, I don't really believe dating apps are, like, the place to meet people, I think more, like, a music festival would be the place, but just, like, put myself out there more, I want to, like, sign up for things, I want to, like, be a part of community, like, with people like me who are into spirituality and, like, and, like, witchcraft and, like, and, like, music and arts and, it's not like my partner doesn't have, my counterpart, I would say, because again, we're just living together, sharing finances, and, you know, I just feel like I, I'm at a place where that's what I need to focus on, is like, I need to ha be bringing in enough money, because, you know, even with that, even with that, um, that job, like, I still couldn't even afford to really go to this, like, wedding, and it's tomorrow, and I'm heartbroken, like, I had, like, a like the past couple of days I had this like heaviness in my heart that just was like a sinking stone just feeling like my whole world was collapsing and like almost like I just knew it would too because I feel like it's obviously things have changed so much I've quantum leaped so much and I have to I'm so like out of breath from that crazy cicada what the fuck where did it even go anyway um but yeah just feeling like things need to change but I don't like I'm also like don't want my life to explode in my face like I need buffer cush cushioning and you know maybe this will be like like obviously this like job changing situation is like a chance for me to apply to new opportunities even though it's scary and it's, like I'm comfortable with the old but 
I need to bring in more money if I want to go travel, if I want to have my own, because I also just want to have my own finances, because I don't want my, like, person, like, anyone to be able to tell me, well, you can't afford that, you can't do that, like, and, like, have control over me and, like, my finances. I want to have my own funds, and I want to be, like, not sharing everything and not, like, like, I just want to have control of all my own resources, like, you know what I mean? And and be able to take trips and I want and not have anyone like telling me, oh, we can't afford that or like, you're trying to bring me down to earth. Cause like, as I said before, I was like going on all these trips and like going to like all these festivals and like, I always made it work and like the magic always worked out and I always met people and it wasn't like I was, uh, what up, Kitty? Is it here? Oh my God. Did you eat it? Oh my God, honey. Um, it always just worked out and just like the magic of like, the community and like you know it wasn't like I was like sleeping on the ground and like these festivals I always had like people and I wasn't like begging people to like <laughs> just, like you know and, and the thing is I had like some extra money and somehow it just worked out because I had this like belief that I was lucky and like magically things work out for me and if I was on my own with my own finances I would have gone camping this week it would have been the most life-changing thing because that's literally my dream is to go camping like and like go on a road trip and camping and like I, I've always wanted to do something like that it's just like the most epic thing ever and I really feel like I I mean it was it's it, it I agree that if I had gone without like my person I'm living with and like had just been like fuck you I'm going like it would have seemed really like crazy in a way and like it would have been a really like challenging thing to do because it would be like really just like like saying to someone like fuck off and like like dealing with all that anger and like I, I know that it would have been fine but just like navigating that was too hard for me with all the other stuff I was going through with my job and um yeah but I mean the good thing is this is like an opportunity for me to you know make more content and like actually take time to do videos and like the I, I've written like I've been wanting to make a vlog for so long that like I've written a ton of topics out I mean I there's not as many as I there's a good amount for now and then hopefully more ideas will come you know but I have enough to work with for for a while um for at least you know a little bit and then hopefully more ideas will come but and I'm sure they will and I have like a lot of tips on like creativity too I'm you know I I haven't always been creative but I've become such a creative person so I have a lot to share about that yeah um but yeah I just really hope that like um what's gonna come from this is like me finding more like financial opportunities that will actually allow me a chance to like like make room for travel in my life and even though it sounds like oh you're like you know but again if say I was making money from doing videos then I I mean even though I don't imagine me being like a brand ambassador because like I just as much as I want to be I also am so like I just can't imagine a brand wanting to work with me like that. I don't know. I, and I know that sounds like self-defeatist, but I just hope things can open up for me in that way too. But um, yeah, I just, um, if, if there's a way I could, I need to embed like a lot more travel and finding communities like that um, resonate with me and like becoming a part of something greater than me because I really need friends. I really need like, to feel like that warmth of being with people who understand you and like you're just like thriving in your environment. Even though I'm an empath, I really need that community too and to feel like I belong to something and like I'm getting some like part of some nourishing environment that's like beautiful and I'm seeing beautiful stuff like when you're at a festival and you're just experiencing and you're meeting people and you're, everyone's so vibing and like you just meet all these people who and like people see your energy and like it's so magical and I just need to be a part of that again because it's been years since I've been doing that I've been on my own path of like healing and discovery and it's taken a little too long but I'm finally at a place where I'm ready to like be out in the world you know so um so that's great so that is a big thing so it's like helping me reassess that um and that's the biggest thing because I think just like from not being able to go to the wedding tomorrow just the regret I feel, the pain I feel when I think about it, like, I'm so sad that, like, I never want to feel like that again, I never want to feel like I didn't, like, have this opportunity for myself and I wasn't able, like, I never want to feel like I can't do, like, 
be a part of amazing experiences like that ever again because it's so painful and now that I finally do want to be a part of this world again it's like it's so it's so heartbreaking to me that I can't go tomorrow so anyway um so that's the lessons I've learned that's what's going on um I also wanted to read I might upload this then I need to clean out this second phone so I need to delete this Thing, and then maybe I'll read this thing, but I really, I might just do it outside because I really want to go outside. It's such a beautiful day, but I wanted to make this video. So it's like, if I'm talking to the camera and stuff, so it's just like really hard for me to, like, I feel like I'll hold back if I'm outside, like amongst all my neighbors, like hearing me, I'll just like speak really quiet. And I haven't gotten to the place yet where, you know, I feel like I can just like be like loudly sharing my truth in my back porch all the time. Um, you know, maybe some days, but Anyway, so, and I've also just, but I have felt much better today. I woke, I finally, like, I was having trouble sleeping the past couple of days, but I finally woke up early again and was just, like, outside and just, like, like went in the sun and laid out, and then I walked to the store and got a salad and um, stopped by this, like, really beautiful uh, backyard of this cafe because I wanted to show my counterpart like how it looks again like sometimes we get along it's not like that it's just but we don't oh my god I see this it's right on the lamp if it's okay anyway, I'm not scared of it but the sound it was making is insane but um yeah we, again we get along okay sometimes but it's just it's not the romantic relationship I need for like what I think I deserve because if you like just feel like I don't every time like someone talks to you you're like I deserve better <laughs> and you keep thinking that well you fucking do you know we all deserve to feel like in a relationship that feels like it's home you know and even though he feels like home to me in a lot of ways it's not the home I want for like my my heart my love but it's maybe like a very comfortable place where we can you know always get along and be friends but I need more um, as well so anyway I'm, I might read this passage outside because um, I see the cicada because outside is where I'm going to read it because uh, it, I want to go outside it's so beautiful and plus the cicada is now in this room living as a true like, I don't know how we got in here but I'm going to just show you this because it's crazy ah! oh my god can you see it Scary. It's not scary, it's like beautiful, but I'm scared that it's gonna fly out and make that noise and like get stuck in my hair and I'll like freak out because I, uh, something about bugs and me, like I'm just, I'm so scared of bugs. <laughs> like that huge hornet today was absolutely insane. So August, happy August. I'm gonna read that thing. Ah, okay.